there are about 5,000 on any given day, kids in foster care. Unfortunately, there's about half that number of qualified, certified foster homes. But Kim Carver, the parent of three adopted children, decided to do something about the lack of awareness and funding for foster care programs. He partnered with friends at District Donuts to create the District Streetcar. Cinnamon Road. We started out that work and found it was very difficult to recruit folks, you know, to be foster families. We needed a lower barrier of entry to have folks involved. And I thought, what better way than to eat lunch or eat breakfast with a purpose? All of the donuts, burgers, and sliders sold today directly benefit a faith based nonprofit called Crossroads NOLA. We work with local churches to recruit foster families to serve kids in foster care in our area. We walk them through the certification process, and then on the back end, once they start bringing children into their home, we offer support services to those families. Anna Palmer with Crossroads NOLA says the streetcar roving around town slinging tasty treats to the masses has done wonders to get their name and their role in the community out to the public. Foster care, there's a lot of um, confidentiality issues involved, and so we can't we can't show kids names and faces, um, but there's something everyone can do to help these kids. Whether it's buy a donut to support our work or volunteer with an organization that serves kids in foster care. Now, if you didn't get a chance to make it out to today's event, it's not a problem at all. Anytime you see the District Donut Streetcar parked around the city selling donuts and sliders, stop by and make a purchase. We're told that all of the money they make on this streetcar goes directly to Crossroads NOLA. Reporting in the CBD, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News.